Right, hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's winter here in the UK, nice and crisp and, and all that sort of cold. So this is the time of year where actually I quite prefer spending some time at the bench. So, in my last video I did mention that I was going to bring to you a new kit that you hadn't seen before. Um, and this is one of the, the kits that's a shelf queen. I actually started on it and uh, it ended up on the shelf what with COVID and work and, and all of that. Um, so what I've decided to do is actually revisit it and try and get some progress on it and hopefully get it finished. So let's show you what it is. It's the uh, Model Watch 6 British Truck. Um, this is a really nice kit by ICM. Um, I've had it a few years. Um, it's a really good, some good history of the truck on the side. Usual, usual business. I won't do a, a build, you know, like a review or all that. But that's that's what I'm going to build. And like I say, it's a shelf queen, so I want to get it started. Well, started. I want to get it finished. Um, so we'll get over to the bench and we'll have a look. So I think really what we should do is go through. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, go through the kit and have a look at the instructions for the Watt Six. This is an old kit. I actually bought this in 2020 and uh, it became a project so ICM uh, instructions are really quite quite good you got the sprue call out and then <coughs> a whole range of uh, you know step-by-step -step guide to assembling the chassis really straightforward um and as you can see from some of these drawings i've, I've also got uh, notes on there already and uh, got to this stage on the assembly here and i've put a note here paint at the end of this stage so that's where i got to um, when i started on this before and going on forward um again there's assemblies there of the wheels i got um, some resin wheels uh, which i'll show you in a minute um, so these various notes step-by-step -step guide um, i've also put on here places where i've put i'm going to put etch parts um, instead of the plastic parts all the way through the uh, the uh, assembly drawings in the kit and some notes on colors and, and bits and pieces like that and uh, you know it's a standard sort of thing to do when when you're going through a build of this complexity so we've got a whole thing around how to assemble the truck and uh, where we're going to go with it putting the cab together etc etc and then we get on to the rear body and the rear body is where this thing changes so the early part of the construction all the way up to including the cab uh, can be pretty much assembled as per the kit but when you get to the body that's where things start to change um, and I've made a number of notes on here as to what parts I'm going to do and, and, and the various sub um, sub assemblies uh, things like the boxes and stuff like that and because I've got the edge parts some of these parts are going to be replaced by edge and then the whole body assembly as per the kit goes forward and is fairly straightforward color scheme um, I'm going to go with um, probably one of these color schemes they're pretty much the same to be honest um, ICM uh, colors are based on 
uh, yeah, Revel and Tammy are. So I'm going to, as you know, I, um, I'm a great believer in Vallejo. Um, so I'll probably, probably use the Vallejo. However, I do have some AK real colour um, paints that I'll probably use as an alternative. Uh, and this is uh, the sort of British army late uh, green sort of colour so I'll probably probably use that and uh, I do have the Vallejo sort of model colour sort of equivalent but they're the colour schemes that I'll use now the body the body changes I bought this kit um this is a resi cast kit um and it's a machinery set for a watt six and it's got various things in there like a drilling machine a grinder a lathe um, a compressor i think that is or meant to be or some sort of uh, power generator and the various bits and pieces uh, for that uh, it's resin kit shows you how to put the things together fairly straightforward again all of these bits go together and they were going to get uh, a coat of paint there's a nice layout drawing here of how they fit within the, the bed and uh, I think the next thing to do is sort of have a look at a couple of these a couple of these I've already assembled so things like the, the the grinder and the pillar drill and the lathe, um, they're all in, well. These are in prime. This is in primer. Um, so they they've got to be painted and detail painted, and uh, we'll go through that and I'll show you how to how I've amended the body so just bear with me and uh, I'll be back well and the other thing that uh, moving on from the machinery the other set that I got from ResiCast was uh, positional steering for the Watt 6 um, so this has resin wheels and a change to the front axle <coughs> and stuff like that um, fairly straightforward got the parts for that the other thing that I managed to pick up was this set of um, photo etch parts um, from <laughs> I can't remember the name of the company but it's all in it's all in Russian by the looks of it um, but it's the usual things that you can that you have on on uh, on trucks so the photo etch and stuff so uh, I've got those as well so I'm working on the position of those so uh, moving swiftly on um, one of the things that I had done I've got this far with um, the construction of the chassis and if you can see there that's the replacement resin axle and there's also some photo etch parts there to replace the kit parts so that's actually at a stage where that's ready for paint and I've also started the assembly of the front mud guards and uh, again replaced parts there with photo edge <coughs> oh cool. excuse me I'm getting a bit of a cold going on but it's that time of year so uh, the other thing that I've done is is, to, uh, is made the modifications to the truck body. Um, so you've got replacement resin parts here, and uh, the other thing I've actually done is replaced the tie downs. Um, the tie downs are just molded sort of the lines on, on the on the parts. Well, I've replaced those, including on the resin parts, with some wire 
wire sort of um, handles type of thing. Um, but the tie downs are replaced by uh, 0.03 wire um, or 0.3 wire. The interesting thing was that with the with the resin uh, resin with the photo etch kit, we actually got tie downs there. Um, so obviously, what I've done is slightly different. So all of that together got a fair bit done already and uh, what I've also got to add is well there's more resin parts to add there's some ch minor changes bits and pieces to make and uh, got to find some figures and uh, in the next video um, we'll have a look at the figures that I've chosen to go with this particular kit so I hope you're interested <laughs> um, bit of a surprise I know but uh, as I said in the introduction this is a shelf queen it's been sat there for you know a number of years and I really want to get it done so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next video bye for now